Hello, my name is Sydney and I'll be attending medical school fall 2020. In today's video, I'm going to share the master medical school Excel I used to create my medical school list. Quick disclaimer, some of these stats that I mentioned throughout this video are based off of either a quick Google search or a brief MSAR skim. So please do research on your end just to make sure that that is the correct criteria. I just also would like to say I am by no means the perfect applicant. A lot of classifications of whether I fell into a school's range were solely based on my predictions. So please use my example or any of my opinions as just a mere guideline on how you can get started. As always, timestamps of each specific section as well as my medical school Excel will be listed in the description below. Without any further ado, let's begin. The medical school list. In creating your list, I'd have these two, excuse you, I'd have these two questions in mind. How many schools should I apply to? As well as what are your priorities in choosing a school? First question, how many schools should you apply to? Yes. I basically hit you with the equivalent of when they ask you, do you want corn or flour tortillas? And you hit them with that yes. That just goes to show there's no correct definitive number or answer. It's all a matter of what you're comfortable with. Some things that would determine your comfort would be costs, what you're comfortable spending since you should consider the cost of primaries, secondaries, as well as any potential travel associated with interviews. There's also a matter of time and effort. The more schools that you apply to, the more secondaries that you'll also have to complete, as well as taking time off from work or school if you do go to more interviews. The last thing to consider for comfort is range, casting your net wide, or a good ratio of target schools, some reach schools, and some safety schools. Not to say any medical schools or safety schools, since it is pretty hard to get into medical school and don't know what's going to happen, but just schools that fall within your range for sure a little bit above your range or the dream schools that you've always wanted to apply to as well as some schools that are a little bit less than your range in case something happens in assessing your chances i personally did this through doing a preliminary scan on stats as well as the program emphasis for my criteria it was would i be considered an in-state applicant to do my gpa and mcat fall within their range and what is our emphasis is it research or is it service so i want to give a little bit context with my example i was a lot more comfortable applying to a lot of schools since i qualified for the fee assistance program, it heavily reduced a lot of costs associated with applying to medical school. In this situation, the fee assistance program covered the cost of MSAR or the medical school admission requirements. That was basically an online database of all the MD programs and it was a database compiled by the AMC which was extremely helpful. That cost $36. The AMCAS or the American Medical College Application System waiver, it waived one application submission with up to 20 medical schools. That in itself was a $970 value. As a note, the regular price in terms of the primaries is $170 just for your initial application for one school. Every school after that will be an additional 40. The fee assistance program also covered the price of all secondary applications. Each one can range from $70 up until $120. The fee assistance program also took care of the CASPER exam as well as sending out those scores. Grand total, I applied to 34 schools, reach schools, moderate reach schools. So they're still above, I guess, what I considered my range. So I wanted to make myself feel better and not feel like I was applying to too many reach schools, so I split it to reach and moderately reach. Nine reach schools, five moderate reach schools, 11 target schools, four moderately safety schools, and five safety schools. The second question, what are your priorities in choosing a school? Going back to the MSAR, I highly recommend investing in it. It's a great resource to fill filter through schools based on your exact criteria. You can actually sort based on stats. So what is the school's median MCAT and GPA, whether it's a private or public school, tuition costs, class size, campus type, such as rural, suburban, or urban, if combined degrees are offered. For example, if you can get an MD and an MPH, MD, MBA, MD, PhD. The MSR also lists the types of applicants that it accepts. I saw that some schools don't accept international students, for example. It will also have the primary application deadline associated with that specific school. You can either go one step further in creating your list. With a lot of the schools changing their curriculum, favoring the more accelerated programs, a lot of traditional programs where it'd be two didactic years is actually being condensed to 1.5 and start clinical years earlier. That would be a good factor to when the school would plan for you to take step. And based off of going to different interviews and asking current medical students, they also emphasize that this would have been a game changer. Whether in-person lectures are mandatory, exam 
examinations for that specific medical school rely more on multiple choice or short answer as well as what is the grading system pass fail the letter grade if it's graded on tiers of pass fail it's essentially the same essence of grade so in terms of my example i prioritize location since i'm from california and i'm a weather baby suburban or urban campus types if i could have more control i would want to go to a public school since the tuition is a lot more kind to my wallet especially if i'm in state in terms of stats how i decided which schools were within my target is for the mcat i would shoot for plus or minus two of what i scored and for gpa i would plus or minus 0.1 for my target range for program fit a lot of the things that i did were based on community service or working with the underserved in terms of looking for which schools had that primary care emphasis i went on best medical school rankings to see how they would rank research schools and primary care schools another way to gauge what a program's emphasis is by going to their specific website and reading the mission statement that that school endorses i want to refer to my master excel to note on the primaries tab i have and this isn't perfect but this is just one way you can organize your excel in case you were thinking about using the system in terms of program information i have in the columns i have the schools the states that the schools are in the category that i made an educated guess is that school out of state friendly i listed a percentage for some of these schools it may be inaccurate based off of a rough google search i also listed the median mcat as well as the undergraduate gpa and i listed the rankings of research and primary care whether the school was a public or private school and any notes i had about that school so for example i made an indication about the uc prime program since that's something i was very interested in i also made a note of which schools were tuition free or going towards the direction of debt free and i just did a little indication if i knew someone that either applied got an interview matriculated or graduated from that specific school i don't know i don't i'm not too familiar with all the school but if someone i knew went there i was more inclined to apply since i could either ask them questions or i just knew that like oh i was in a similar boat so that concludes everything i wanted to cover in terms of the specifics of each component of the amcas application i am planning to make a video if you have any questions or any indication of different videos that you'd like to see please leave it in the comments below as always thank you for watching and i'll see you next time